We all need encouragement, motivation, and inspiration in our life. Each week, Patty will interview guests who will motivate and inspire you through their unique personal and professional experiences. I listen, my mom listens, pretty much the whole family. Listen, my whole family loves it, man. It's drastically changed my life. All of your senses will wake up as you listen to this scrumptious podcast that is sure to tickle your eardrums. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Wake Up with Patty Catter starts now. Welcome to Wake Up with Patty Catter. I am really happy that you all decided to listen in today. And today I actually have Ram Raviv with me. Did I pronounce your name right, Ram? Yep, yep, you got it. Good, Good, because before the show I forgot to ask you about your last name. (laughs) I'm normally not great at last name pronunciations. So Ram, I would love it if you would tell my guests a little bit about where you came from. You're one of the younger guests, if not the youngest guest I've ever had on my show. Nice. Yes. So could you tell me and the listeners a little bit just about yourself, where you came from? Yeah. So like you said, my name is Ram Raviv. I am 19 years old, just turned 19 in November. November 1st is my birthday. Um, and yeah, I've just been been uh, born and raised here, Long Island, New York. Uh, I go to school in the city now in Baruch College. It's a business school. I'm in my second year. And maybe we'll get into it a little later, but I have a podcast editing agency called Podblade, and I have my own podcast called Spreading Success. Mm -hmm. Which is definitely why I wanted you on the show today, because (laughs) I was so impressed. I'm not even exactly sure how I ran across your information uh, as far as your podcasting business and such, but um, I remember probably one of the groups on Facebook or something, I came across you and it just really impressed me to read your biography because you are so young and I decided to poke around at your website a little bit and I was really impressed with you. So, um, you were born in New York then? Yep. And how do you think your childhood was? I just like our listeners to know a little bit about where our guests come from and how they grew up. Uh, I think I, I was not like rich, rich, but I think I was pretty, you know, middle-class, pretty well off. Um, never had like, I I don't have that story where it's like, oh, a broke kid and then just goes. I never really had that experience. Uh, my parents got divorced when I was around two or three. Uh, so that's just been um, a constant thing. And people usually say like, oh, I'm so sorry, but like I'm really used to it. So it's not really a big deal for me because I don't really know any different. Um, and my dad is an entrepreneur. He has his own real estate agency. My mom is the complete opposite. She works at Northwell Health. It's it's a hospital. And so <clears throat> just balancing those two, I think I got uh, a little bit of both. I think I got the whole entrepreneurial spirit from my dad. And I think I got the fundamentals and, and the book smarts from my mom. So I think together it's just forming a, it's, it's really uh, coming together very nicely. So I'm looking even at your surroundings right now, and I see time is money. I see, you know, some books on your desk. And typically that's not what you see in a 19 year old. You hear about, you know, maybe at college, but a lot of partying. And I just don't see how you even have time to party if you do. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you do. But um, I'm wondering if you could tell our guests a little bit about your podcasting, because that is how I met you. Um, Ram and his team over at Podblade, they edit my podcast. They do a phenomenal job. They are top notch. I have worked with many people over the years and their company floors me every time they do anything for my podcast. So um, Ram, how did you get into podcasting? Yeah, so I was always into entrepreneurship and I always wanted some kind of a, a personal brand, uh, creating content, something like that. I knew it ever since I was like maybe 14 or 15, but I didn't know what and uh, the pressures from high school, you're always surrounded by these bullies and you can't escape them. And college is a little different because no one really knows each other. It's a big school, big campus. Uh, and so it wasn't until my first year of college where I was like, wait, I'm actually free. Like I can I can actually do something that, that I've always planned to do. I just didn't know exactly what. So I was just pursuing my uh, my entrepreneurial passion with things like drop shipping. I've tried all these little side hustles. Uh, and then I went to a business event called Breakthrough, and it was a drop shipping event. And one of the speakers there, his name was Casey Adams. He was a big podcaster and personal brand guy. 
And I didn't really do much with my personal brand. I just had an Instagram account, but really wasn't doing much with it. And then Casey uh, presented and he was telling us how we needed to start a podcast. It doesn't matter who we are, what we do, uh, our success, we need to start a podcast. And so I actually ordered the microphone for my podcast while he was still talking. I didn't wait because I knew I wanted to do this so badly. And I knew that I would give myself so many excuses if I came home and then tried to order it. I wanted to get that momentum of having that first step. And so that's what happened. And ever since then, I've just been going to these events, uh, getting the guests from the events, the speakers, having them on my show, and then leveraging their names to get even higher level guests and then just working my way from there. Mm -hmm. So about how long have you been doing this? For about nine, 10 months right now. Mm -hmm. So you're doing phenomenal for that short amount of time. Thank you. Yes. So um, as far as uh, Podblade, could you tell our listeners a little bit about how did you end up starting Podblade? Okay, so you're podcasting for a while, you like it, and then something happens or what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so obviously uh, you're very familiar with my partner, Apple. For those of you who don't know, I am the co-founder of Podblade. The other co-founder is Apple Kreider. He is another top 100 business podcaster. Uh, His podcast is called Young Smart Money. And the way that we came in contact was I, when I wanted to get started with my podcast, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. And I looked around social media and YouTube, and there wasn't really many people doing what I wanted to do or had the same vision. Uh, But he was one of the people that I came across because of just basic, you know, podcasting or just looking up things on Instagram. And other than him, the other content was just best equipment to buy. They weren't teaching you how to rank. They weren't teaching you how to grow your show, how to get guests basically exactly what I was looking for. And so that's where Apple came in and I started messaging him and learning so much. I'm very, very grateful that he gave me the opportunity and he gave me a chance and he just continued to help me grow. And he had an editor himself at one point and he saw that I was struggling with that kind of work. And so he offered me his editor to work with him. And then eventually once we saw that there could actually be potential to to turn this into a business, that's when we just started coming up with ideas of how we would break it down. And then long story short, here we are. And um, it's still unbelievable that it's happened so quickly. And I'm really, really grateful because this is like a dream come true, you know, monetizing the passion, do, running a business. It's just all coming together right now. Mm-hmm. One of the most amazing things I think that I noticed is that in your pod bait, Pod, blah, sorry, pod (laughs) blade group on Facebook. You actually have tutorials of how to do different things. That's really amazing because um, I have been podcasting for a long time, but I still need to keep up with technology and the different things that are happening so that I can keep up with, you know, basically what my listeners need. And one of the most recent things, I think you released it maybe even today, was how to take. Um, one podcast, I believe it is, and make it into 30 days worth of social media content. That's cool. So um, when you're creating these things, are you and Apple working together um, or are you kind of doing things separately? How are you keeping up with um, editing all these podcast shows? Obviously, you have a team now, I think. Um, So, I mean, how are you growing? And... um, yeah. Yeah. So, so right now we, we do have an editing team. So we're mostly focused on like the whole management and like working on the business. We don't do the actual editing ourselves. Mm -hmm. So what happens is in terms of the group, the group is a a great community. I know uh, you've spoken very, very highly of it. And we, we try to create an engaged community and not only for the purposes of brand awareness, but just to build a community that we wish that we had when we got started because a lot of these groups on Facebook are just spam your links or just, just random questions and no one answers. And we really didn't like that. So it it was kind of a win win for us. And that's one of the, one of the ways that we are growing through Facebook messaging people individually that, that are podcasters asking them what are their struggles? What are they, what are their current issues they're facing? And so, a lot of people do say editing and that's where we can come in and provide the value for them. So it's just for right now, we're, we're doing a lot of messaging to get people not only into the group, but to also 
try and help them out, provide the value. Cause a lot of people don't really know that a service like this exists for this price. And right. that's, that's really what I want to get the message across to a lot of people because they, some people are actually quitting because they don't feel like they have the, the adequate resources or time or effort. Mm -hmm. And people got started, people that got started when I got started, most of them quit now because they just didn't have that. So I'm glad that I was able to, to last. And that's, this is why I'm really trying to help other people with it as, as well. Mm -hmm. Which I do really feel like your group is very welcoming. I know for me, I think I am kind of, it's coming back to me a little bit about how we met. So I remember you kind of reaching out and you said something like you were wondering if I did my own editing and I pretty much told you, yeah, I'm fine for now <laughs> um, because I don't want to spend the extra money uh, paying a big editor to do this. And and then you told me your prices and I thought, <laughs> how can I not hire you because your prices are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you want to mention your prices on the show or not because they could change or whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, and it may be based on different, you know, what the different needs are. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of up to you, but your prices are phenomenal. And I'll tell you what, the, I feel so stress-free when I'm doing these podcasts now because literally as soon as I'm done with a podcast, I go to Podblade and I upload everything and you guys do all the rest and yep. you even write my show notes. So it's just great. And, um, I absolutely love the podcast now. I mean, before it was a little bit of work. Now I have you doing all this. You guys even created my um, YouTube channel art and, um, you make all my audiograms and it's just been such a breath of fresh air and just so fun now to podcast and to do what I love. So thank you. Yeah. And it really is a dream come true for a podcaster to upload a file and never look at it again. Yes. I know from experience, and that's one of the reasons why I created it. The all in one $20 podcast editing. It's it's unheard of. We're one fifth of the industry average, probably even more. And at this point, there are people charging $200, $300 for an episode. And they'll like pitch you on all these like little things that no one even can tell the difference. They can just tell because they're like audio engineers. Yes. But it, it's just we want to give podcasters everything that they need and none of what they don't. That's why we offer the video for the YouTube. That's why we offer the audiogram to help them grow. These audio editors and the people that are charging so much, they don't really know what podcasters need. They just know how to make something sound amazing. So that's mm -hmm. really the difference. That's true. And I really feel like your team cares. Like a couple of weeks ago, I had an issue with my audio and it was totally my fault. Actually, you all watching this video can see I have this big poofy microphone right <laughs> now. And um, we're, I'm going to be buying another one. And moving my area where I record. But in the meantime, I told these guys, you know, my audio pretty much it sucks. And can you do anything about it? And they told me basically the way I um, recorded it, they couldn't really do anything, but they still offered to help me out and to, they're actually um, speeding up the process of my re-record that I did. And they've just been really helpful and they didn't have to do that. I didn't pay for, I mean, you know, I didn't have like, expect them to go above and beyond. And they did do that. And I've been able to call and talk to Ron personally um, with all the questions that I've had. And Apple's been fantastic. So um, these guys are legit. They're the real deal. And the reason that I'm doing this podcast, I don't do like a lot of infomercial type stuff. <laughs> um, but I think Ron is very interesting. Um, his story of how young he is and pursuing this passion. But I also have a lot of listeners who've asked me questions about podcasting. So I wanted to put this out there. Um, Ram, do you have anything that you'd like to tell people who may be interested in starting their own podcast? Yeah, I think the number one thing is to just go to anchor.fm and get started right when you finish this listening to this podcast and right until the end, just get off your phone or whatever you're listening to and then just go to anchor.fm and just get started. That's like the hardest thing for people because they overthink they 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 think that they need all the perfect microphones, all the perfect webcams, the lighting, and this is after 9 months, but if you look at my first episode, it was just garbage. It was like I was wearing like my video game headphones that I had. It was in my bed. That was a mess. Mm -hmm. uh, 
the lighting was garbage. Everyone could see like the mess on my floor and the, oh, it was just, <laughs> it, it's funny looking back and hopefully I'll laugh at this uh, in like nine or 10 months as well, kind of doubling that. But yeah, the, just don't overthink it and just get started. Leave this podcast. Once you're done, go to anchor.fm and just start the process. And it really doesn't matter who you are and what you do. You don't need to be a millionaire to have a podcast. You just need to know how to leverage the attention and just speak about something you're passionate about. And most of you do it anyway. So why not record it and just build something for yourself and your personal brand? Mm -hmm, Absolutely. Speaking of personal brand, um, those of you watching can kind of see um, Ram's little cartoon on his computer. I think that's pretty oh, nifty. Yep, there you go. <laughs> um, so do you all help with branding yet or is that in your future or you never know? Uh, I mean, branding is, I'm not a graphic designer myself. I could definitely like put people in the right direction because when I first got started, I made my cover art on Canva. And let me just say, I highly don't recommend to do that because it doesn't work out well and it's not as professional as, as you, as it might look like to you. But yeah, if, if anyone has any branding questions, I don't think that's even a, the service that we plan to offer, but if anyone has like any questions or they, they got a cover art made for them either from us or from someone else and they want to see what it looks like or for, from my perspective, or if, if I have anything that I would rather touch up on the name, the description, really that that's not really a service. That's just providing value to the community because it's just giving back. I know a lot of people, uh, Apple being one of them have really helped me in, in the process. And I, and I really want to give that back to people who were in my position nine, 10 months ago. So it's not really a service, but if anyone has any questions, I'm more than willing to, to answer it. Which I definitely sense that being a part of your community. Um, I love too that your podcasters are helping one another because So often with businesses, you see a lot of competition with one another and a lot of cattiness. And um, I've never seen that in your group. Everybody's been so helpful. And I think it's because we have a great leadership team. And I'm really proud of you guys and what you're doing. And I'm proud to be a part of Podblade. So thank you, Rom. Thank you. I mean, you've you've been an amazing support as well i know when when we first met you even posted on your group gave me a nice shout out that warmed my heart as well and i'm really really grateful for uh for, to be able to help not only you but all the other podcasters and i'm learning so much from not only the people in the group but really every all the podcasters that i come in contact with they're all great people and even though we might not all have similar topics of podcasting just a general concept is is amazing i love it it really is my passion and I'm just really, really grateful to, uh, to be able to share the value with other people. Thank you. Would you mind sharing your social media links with our listeners? Sure. So uh, my podcast is called Spreading Success, and I'm, I'm sure you'll link that down below. My Instagram is Ramraviv, R-O-M-R-A-V-I-V. And that's really the main thing that I use. And you can join the Facebook group for the one that we've been talking about, the Podblade Podcasting Community. Patty will put the link down below as well. And if you have any questions, I don't just say that. Please feel free to message me. I will respond. And yeah, happy podcasting. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. No problem. Take care. Thank you. Thank you for listening to Wake Up with Patty Catter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all you do. Be sure to visit www.pattycatter.com for the latest podcasts, articles, and swag. Also, be sure to follow Patty on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Patty Catter. At Patty Catter.